Just say something wonderful to Jesus. Thank you. Tell him how much you love him. Speak words to him. Tell him how much you are grateful for his love, for his sustenance. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Breathe upon your word. Sometimes it's like we need to weigh the Christianity we are offering to this generation. You will see a sound Christian that goes to church. Some with, with titles and positions. When you see what they do, even the devil will not want them in hell. But they will cope against him and take over the hell and tell him to go and create another one. It's terrible. That's why you must be careful who you meet in church. I'll keep saying it. Not everybody in church is born again. Because we are in a day, I told you, where the gospel that spreads more in the internet is more towards morality than spirituality. We just speak good message. You don't say, the, the way we grew is from foundations of prayers. Foundations of watching your life and watching the Bible, whether they resemble. But now, somebody just tell you, you know, five ways to do this, you know, just do like this, do like this, without even quoting any scripture of us. Those are the clips you see jumping everywhere. And so you see, with the whole of those clips, you see the terribleness of what is happening between believers. I grew up in a dispensation. Who born you to cohabit? Not because I know God, but I cannot. For cultural sake and because of the family I come from. But this generation, you see somebody comfortably, they live like husband and wife. And from sometimes they come to church from there and lift up holy hands. Why? Because even the kingdom where they should come and stay focused, they will be distracted by a fellow believer inside church. Who instead of him to concentrate or he, she concentrate on their life and see their growth, you are looking forward to complain about one thing, talk about very irrelevant issues that doesn't advance the body of Christ. Have a good heart. It's not expensive. It's not all about money all the time. Have a good heart. You don't need to do it because of anyone. Have a... See, sometimes you see, I have prayed for people and I've cried over people's situation and begged God, Lord, you must do this. And immediately he, it happened. God now to me, you see why I never wanted to do it, but you were disturbing me too much. You know, the first thing to advancement in life is to make preparations. If you say, I want to change the lives of nations, I want to have the global impact, start with a local impact. God will never start with you on a big stage. You want to have a global voice as a choir member, they gave you choir, you spoil it. They gave you song, you spoil it. Riaza, you will not come on time. How do you think it will happen now? Why? The passion for souls. When you wake up every day, what disturbs you? You see the life of a brother, is you are out. What role can I play to make this person's life better? Not getting into frivolities and contributing to the darkness in the life of people. Have a good heart. It's not expensive. Have a good heart. So it's not just to come and pray and say, Papa, bait me with olive oil. I've, I've, seen, I've seen life. I've seen the hearts of humans. You know, well, um, Pastor Midred said time a friend of hers did something to her. She couldn't believe it. She went to God in prayers. Say, Lord, can you see human being? And God replied, you are telling me. I wrote inside the Bible that the heart of man. <laughs> you are telling me. He that created them. I said it myself. That the heart of man is desperately wicked. I can understand it. You see people acting like witch and wizards. You are confused with all the Bible you know. You know, bitterness can make you act like a witch. Such that you will see somebody, they say, Ah, bro, Joffy just got an accident. You now smile small. Say, ah, thank you, Jesus. Bitterness can make you act like a witch. So you are wondering, what do people, is it that come to church, they don't pay attention. The problem there is that the church has left its mandate to get into frivolity distractful issues that things you bring to my table i say take this off me you are immature being. we shouldn't be talking about this. this is not the agenda souls are perishing lives are at stake and you are just you are bringing frivolities that doesn't see there are things we shouldn't even be arguing about should we pay that should we not pay that should we do it's not are those issues has anybody put a gun to your neck to pay money in church those are not those are frivolities just unnecessary distractions to the body of christ please it is better to have a christian heart than a christian name I have a good heart. Then call use nice name Joseph. And have a terrible heart inside. That's the way I've made my life to be. I've had people treated me bad, but I vowed not to treat anyone that way. If it pains you, why are you doing it to someone else? The golden rule of life, the Bible says, treat others as you want to be also what? Treated. Have a good heart. Let's 
sincerity be evident before everyone that's why one of the things that can help you is to be blunt said is there any among you afflicted let him what pray is any merry let him what sing so it simply means in the season of affliction one of our rescue tool is what prayers confess your fault one to another pray for one another that you may be what heed the prayers of bitter people can never be effective this is my life ask anyone around me you offend me i call you to your face this thing you have done is wrong i'm not happy we confess our fault one two that's we you know we just jump to the future of that's why your prayer doesn't produce any result have a good heart you can't be coming to church claiming you have the holy spirit and act like devils to people you sit in your room you tear someone down kill someone down bring someone down speak negative about are you a witch is that your agenda and directing that same focus to so when you know it is only when it comes to wickedness we are very effective some of you can jump from houses to houses. i said i came to visit you just to pollute the mind of someone tell that same person to go for so winning like that you see all the excuses in the world then you are turning into is which you don't need to fly he said confess your fault one to another if i have an issue I'm, and the person he says so that you may be what healed it takes a and healthy heart to have prayers being answered healthy heart everything we do in christianity is checkmated from our hearts there's a difference between weakness and wickedness when what you do we cause the downfall of another when what you do we cause a misrepresentation of another the way people see the person perceive them when what you do we bring an hindrance to someone's advancement you are wicked it's wickedness be careful so that the devil don't take an advantage of you it can start with a little anger and then a spirit takes a hold of you and that's the worst scenario of life where because it is now being held by a spirit somebody connects you to a business you took it from the person somebody gave you an access to somebody you went and spoiled the person there it's witchcraft we can't be talking of soul winning if we don't change our heart because the people that we want to go and we don't want to look like us is there anybody saying i wish to be like you the people you want to win don't want to look like you they don't like the life they are seeing so how do you want to win them even you do you want to win yourself do you like yourself no the truth about it is that every wicked person don't like themselves so they don't like their behavior have you not seen a wicked man telling his child don't behave like this he doesn't like it he just cannot help it but to be wicked what benefit will i derive to sit down stop your progress and advancement it doesn't make me move forward though if the easiest way to move forward is to ensure i'm pushing someone because i can't be attempting to push somebody forward and go backwards but when i'm dragging someone backward where am i going i'm more even backward than the person because if we don't deal with, you know we can begin to get angry offense 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 in the church but some people are offense bringers stop it for adventure that is the hindrance to your advancement in life don't waste your time till you discover that you are the weapon fashioning against yourself after 10 years after 20 years you discover that you are the one limiting your own advancement and progress the counsel to you is that don't change your good heart because of what people have done to you instead change the kind of people you give it to relate to people from a sincere heart be good to people See, leave people with memories don't look for what people will get from you anytime they think about me it will be for good don't always be looking for what to get from people after five years should come to my mind leave people with memories so don't say i'm doing it because i must get it from you what matters is that you will see your harvest they didn't tell you where it will come from that's why you can't change to being a bad person because of others be kind to people let people not leave you worse than they met you a young man a young sister came and told you the challenge they are going through you just because you want to rob somebody inside maybe you rob an organization you twisted your your counsel twisted it and made sure you know our father son i used to do in devotion if you do something today that offend your dad the next day devotion the bible verse must rhyme it doesn't matter whether it's for god so love the world he must look for a way to choke it like this and tell you <laughs> our good thing about it that the light used to come out for them <laughs> that's how some of us do life is a seed so it well there are things that listen you cannot uproot out of life 
there is mercy but mercy has principles the first principle is of mercy is that you are only qualified for mercy when you have given out what mercy how do i know matthew says forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who what trespasses so as we if i don't do it i'm not qualified for it two it is the quantum of mercy you release out that you can draw from the volume the inexhaustible volume of god's mercy look at what the bible says forgive them as we the exact proportion of give out is the ones we are qualified to draw from number three god forgives but the seed grows david you did this no problem i've forgiven you you are a dear man after my heart but the child will die god forgives but the seed grows what you do it will come back to you full measure pressed down shaking together and turning over so shall men do to your bosom because we we used to think we will just be living our life anyway we like being wicked then when it is time we just say father forgive he forgives you i'll give you an example you stole from your company you came to your boss ah, i'm sorry forgive me the boss say you are what forgiving but he doesn't employ you back leave people with good memories the people who are abusing are the people you will call connections tomorrow because relationship is built over time not overnight i see a good heart will always subdue negative thoughts towards you do you know the plan that have been planned towards my life the agendas here and there one time a young lady came papa 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 how are you doing i said fine oh papa i brought you something i said oh wonderful she brought fruits for me oranges banana, and the rest of them i took it and kept still working on my system in 30 minutes she was mad that's what they sent her to poison me so my internal system will just be rotting in, i won't know i didn't see a vision i didn't hear a voice your good will will subdue wickedness you are wondering why some people are preserved why sometimes you think the way i've arranged it now this is the downfall of this man but you find that they always come out strong on top you're just wondering how what happens you know why the number of people looking for their downfall is not up to the number of people looking for their lifting the lives they have sown into people are at the top of life because of them so whatever you are hearing from the church setup it will work when the state of your heart is right because you are angry for prayer meeting now your prayer has turned to noise people are praying very very nice tongues yeah 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 say she they want prayer we see prayer today no fully well the when it has to be with a team everybody's opinion cannot be taken so when your own opinion is not taken don't spoil things please leave people with good memories i showed her the story of joseph in the prison he was in a painful situation but yet he was still concerned for others he looked at the butler and baker what did he say he said why is your countenance sad why is your countenance sad the story of docas she didn't say it was the pastor's responsibility she knew that come pastors who can be busy with crusade busy with other things he doesn't have this time my job let me just make sure the widows are taken care of right so that their complaints will not affect church it was at her death that peter was aware that somebody was doing that question is which one step have you on your own taking <laughs> listen a man one time said he said i had a dream and in the dream i saw that my wife is a witch and he said all his story and my father asked him only a simple question where did you have the dream because i'm seeing that you dreamt when you were in the hotel with another woman and the foolish man trusted the dream he was in the hotel with another woman and had dreamed that his wife at home peacefully there is a witch and he listened to it <laughs> You, you, in that state you can trust what he's talking to you in that state please please some of you that's why you ju jump into lies the holy ghost said the, you know everyone to do the wrong thing holy ghost used to suffer i hear the voice of the holy spirit i hear which holy ghost that's what someone said to Saul. do you know how little you were god lifted you i gave you the prophetic i'm telling you what god is saying you are connected to the holy ghost you can't break authority 
with supernatural encounters. Have you not heard what Paul said? He said, even if an angel come to give you another gospel, what did he say you should do? Ignore it! If it is against the gospel I taught you. Is it not what Paul, what Paul said? You are praying in strange line spirit. <laughs> That's Holy Ghost. Leave people with memories. Galatians 6 and verse 9. Let us not be weary in what well doing. For in due season, we will reap our reward if we don't fit. Be known for doing good. Have a good heart. Let your words be good. Your thoughts be good. Your actions be good. What you don't learn by counsel, you will learn by experience. Allow people to bear the consequences of their actions. There are times God forgives people and allow them to go through the pain. So they learn it and not repeat it again. Have a good heart. Have a good heart. You speak against one. Everything negative, your name must be mentioned. This one said this and this and this. They will call your name. Just 32. He said, and be kind to another. The word be is a command. It's not an encouragement. Be. They did not say, please, we are appealing to you. Be. Go ye. Anytime you see the word ye in scripture, means what? It is a command. Be ye kind. Tender hearted. Having a soft heart. I will never forgive him. If we see this year done, this crazy face like a witch, we grant it. This year has done. I swear we will get through that. I will never. You are now wondering why you are old. No, no. Just ask your parents to send you a picture of your village goddess. You find out you are closely. You, you are now looking at it. Or your chief priest. Both of you are having resemblance. You are wondering why you are old. Sometimes my children will say, Papa, you look so young. You don't get old. I say because there are issues here. I don't put things in my heart. I don't have time. When there are issues of destiny, issues of life, you are now still concerning yourself with nonsense. Be tender. You know what they call tender? How many of you know when you, you cook for mom? It will be the first way to. You know, you'll you now be pressing like this. It will, you'll just be cutting it. You'll now be angry that you want to finish. The way that tea is tender. I know some of you, you're already dreaming. We are still in church. You might not even likely see Komo after you leave service. But just dream it. You're already eating it in your mind. Be te- the way it is tender. That's how they say your heart should be so soft to forgive and let it go. Hard heart doesn't carry anybody foul. Hard heart. You just feel, if I don't do something that will make him feel that exact proportion of pain, I'm not yet, he won't feel me. He won't feel me. You know, you want him to feel you. If Jesus fought for his right, will he have died? Was it his right to die? Please, be kind. He said, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, had forgiven you. Look at the way you are. You know, if it were you, you were God, you would have sent your own self to a fire by now. Some of you know that if you were to be God, there is no reason why you should be alive now. You will be the anchor, you will just kill yourself. But thank God you are not God. The Bible is saying the way he treats his church, the way he treats you, treats human beings like that now. The Bible says, for God is patient towards all men. He is not slack concerning his promises, so that all men will be what? Saved. You only have impatience. I don't tolerate nonsense. Direct opposite of the fruit of the Spirit. All you know is fight, violence. The Christianity will not be effective. So we are hearing will not be effective. It won't influence and change people if we don't work on this. Having a good heart. Everybody, you don't talk to them, you have issues with all of them. Reason being that I like my space. I like my space. Which space do you have? Nobody should enter into my space. I've told you there are attributes you celebrate that is not godly. There is nothing spiritual about it. There is nothing spiritual about it. Lord, give me a good heart. A good heart will open doors for you than your mind can fathom. A good heart. Life is a seed, so it will. Life is a seed, so it will. Because everything you do is a seed. When you are being wicked, when you are this, when you are that, some of you, you come to an organization, you tear it, you pull it down. Tomorrow you start a company, you are confused. Everybody is duping you. Everybody is fighting your company, you are confused. Why? Life is a seed. Mercy does not uproot seed. God forgives you. But you reap what you want. So
Paul's read it. He said, every man, God is not mocked. You don't play smart on him. Whatsoever a man soweth, that is the exact thing he will reap. So challenge yourself. Make up your, there are principles you should begin to adopt in life. I will forgive easily people. I won't keep people in my heart. I won't think negative towards people. I won't speak negative. How many of you have felt so bad when you heard what somebody said about you? They came to tell you that somebody said this. You felt like committing. You want to die. How many of you have heard that? You were fuming. It's normal. It's an injury to the heart. Now imagine you now doing the same to somebody else. Most of the times, it is, it is sweet when we are the one that do it. But when they do it to us, we want to commit suicide. Imagine if somebody treats you that way. The things you are saying about someone, will you want people to say that about you at your back? Ask yourself that question. Show concern for people's advancement. That's what Cain didn't know from the beginning. And God asked him, where is your brother? And his reply was, am I my brother's keeper? He didn't know it was his responsibility to be. Your friend, your sister, didn't come to church now. Say now in life, if you want to perish, perish! Is your life. Pray to of you don't end up the same place. And say, you might come here. Pray. No, that's the prayer. There are things we do as being hard. That is wickedness and we think we are being principled. As much as I like excellence, there are boundaries I don't cross over. Especially when it comes to the detriment of a life. So it's not being principled. You are not, it's not laid out principle. You are just being wicked. Some of you are asking now, how comes people don't like to stay around me? How comes people don't relate with me? We are in the world of men. And we are into the business of what? Men. If you read something, for sure a career path or a profession, and you are planning to work, are you going to work alone there? It's not someone that will employ you that are dealing with men. If you start a business, start a company, you are rendering a service, is it to goods or chickens? It's to men. If you say your own is calling God according to ministry, is it to plastic chairs? No matter you beautify the place, who do you talk to? Everything about life. If you say you want to marry, do you marry animals or you go and marry three? You marry human being. What are you dealing with? Human being. Everywhere in the business of men. This is their world. You must understand how people are to be treated. Learn to say sorry. Learn to say thank you. Learn to tell somebody, please. I beg you for something that is your own benefit. So I will not beg. My village people, we don't beg. Go and ask my village, my clan. We don't used to beg. Everybody! That's why you can never be better than your clan people. Because only the kind of results your clan people produce, you will produce like that. There are people that brag with it. One time I was talking to a young man. He had a, a reservations on certain things. So I was speaking to him. I said, please don't do this. He was shouting. No, 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 say what I'm saying. I said, talk down. I'm not shouting. He said, no, that's how we are in our family. We shout. Some of you have heard those kind of things now. They say, that's how I am. That, you are not like that. Then they change. What is that is how you are? How can somebody be, be bad and say, that is how I am? Everybody is complaining about you. You say, that is how I am. You cannot be like that. You might like yourself like this. Change. Adjust. Those that will like me for who I am, they will come for who I am. <laughs> How many years now? We are those that will like you for who you are. You know when the devil wants to finish you on his own, he will help you and find motivational quote online. Have you not found that that when you just do something now, maybe some to do something wrong now, maybe you somebody offended you in church and you plan that you want to leave. When you on your WhatsApp now, within five minutes, the next clip you see is cut off, cut off, disconnect. <laughs> when a man is overwhelmed with the spirit of rebellion. Deciding to go his own way, Satan backs him up at the beginning. You will fight him later, but at the beginning, everything will support the motion. Everything will look like a miracle. He doesn't know it's a trap. There are people who have taken decisions. I told them, say, I heard the Holy Ghost say to me. And I told them, no, this is not the structure of the kingdom. The structure is it is in the mouth of two or three. The truth is established. Only you cannot hear. Somebody should be able to confirm that voice you heard. When you don't want to stand it for a confirmation, it shows you are walking in rebellion. Somebody said, no, check this. No, 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 I know what I heard. You are in rebellion, my dear. <laughs> There's no God there. And later on, at the beginning, you see everything working like a miracle. Give them a few months, few years. You turn back and look at them. Only regret. 
sometimes I wonder whether it is I, I don't know that's why I believe I, I believe that you know listen listen the Bible says that Adam was smart enough to understand that God said he should not take from a tree and every day of his life Adam made sure he touched that part he never came around the vicinity so every scene you are drawn to is you you put yourself in the magnetic field of it you don't like alcohol you're always going to be alone you say no it's because of pepper soup you you know we know how to lie in this Christian race you look for some I don't drink I take pepper soup and mortar Guinness Christians, they can turn matters like this. They will twist it just to justify that thing they are doing. And so, if was the one meandering around the vicinity of sin. The Bible says when the devil came, look at what the devil, do you know the devil didn't know the tree God said they should know it from? Genesis 3. The devil only asked the question, did he say you should not eat of the tree? Look at it. Now the serpent was more subtle than the beast, and they said unto the man, Did God say you should not eat of every tree? He, he didn't know the exact one. It was Eve that pointed the exact tree to the devil. And said, No, he said, Okay, oh, eat everyone. But this one, that's why the Bible calls him subtle. He plays smart. On. And make you understand that when you are overwhelmed with rebellion and your heart is set on a matter to go against God, you see what the devil does by himself. But of the fruit of, okay, and the woman said on the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree of this, this in the midst, he was giving the devil details. The devil never knew. Adam dodged this environment all his life. She was the one that was putting herself in the vicinity of sin. Did you see that? And then he begins to. So when you are overwhelmed like that with that rebellion and want to go against God, you see what Satan does? He begins to bring those things. That's why you, sh you are shocked. You open your Instagram, those are the things that will be popping up for you. Listen. The thoughts of men is a magnetic field in the spiritual world. So when you have a strong thought on something, it begins to magnet it reality. I'll give you an example. Have you found out that if you tell yourself now, I want to go into poetry business, you just begin to, it's troubling your mind. From tomorrow, next tomorrow, everything about it, you start seeing it. You find out that even when you open your Chrome browser, you just see a thought, something just pop up, how to start a poetry business. Some of you, I'm teaching you life, what you experience every day. You go on your Instagram, you just see somebody, how I made my first one million in poetry business. You go and see that you are just passing, somebody will just be discussing his friend. And hey, my mother's poetry business is this. Some of you know what I'm talking about. What happened was that your thought becomes a magnetic field that pulls the reality of those things towards you. So when you are thinking, when you are overwhelmed too with rebellion, that's what happens. You'll be seeing everything backing you up. Different kind of clips, only you will see it be popping up around you like this to support your motion please have a good heart love people forgive easily learn to say i'm sorry learn to let things go off your heart let it go humans will always remain humans there is nothing you can do about it but when you about bitterness you will get to a point you start operating the witchcraft please you will pray a prayer and say lord walk on my heart help me Remove every evil heart from me. Give me a good heart. Turn that to prayer. Give me a good heart. You raise your voice and pray that prayer. Help me. Take away every evil heart from me. Wrong thoughts. That's what leads to suicidal thoughts. Depression. Mental illness. When you are filled with negativity. The only thing that is coming to your mind is destruction. Scatter. Destroy. Divide. Negativity. That's the only thing on your mind. You don't think growth productivity just filled with negativity 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 in jesus name we pray listen when you get to that point of your life please i beg you run to god for help seek for deliverance it doesn't matter the post you're occupying in church or what people call you maga maga don't worry you need help at that point in time seek when you are filled you know there's a way you can be overwhelmed with those kind of thoughts destroy scatter destruction confused that's the only thing overwhelming your mind you need to run for help every opportunity you have with humans leave them with good memories everybody you ever encounter it doesn't matter who has hurt you before it doesn't mean you do not you should hurt others it doesn't matter the wounds you have had before it doesn't mean you should wound others it doesn't matter whether they've caught you in life before don't bleed on others be good don't let others experience the pain you experience. Are you hearing me? Don't let others experience the pain you experience.
please be good if you see people going through something and you can't provide a solution there is a best solution you can provide keep quiet keep quiet look at this lady she's not dressing well she's not even taking care of herself she, you don't even know what she's going through keep quiet if you cannot help in any way just be silent lift up your hands and speak into your week and that's the prayer we are praying lord help me to be good to everyone i come in contact with only with that lifestyle is enough for us to win others to jesus people will say ah if this is how jesus child behaves then i wonder how the jesus will do i want to go and look for that jesus you treat them the way jesus will have treated them let them want your god any discussion you are discussing part time ask yourself will jesus have spoken like this will jesus have talked this way will he have used this kind of words will he have done like this leave people with good memories life is a seed so it's well